Don't be afraid of the lard. Don't be afraid of the lard. Let me tell you. The lard, the lard is your friend. Woo! Can you guys see this? You can just see the lard and grease dripping off these tacos. These are awesome. Carne asada street taco. No, 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 no. They're not street tacos, buddy. These are the original Rico's Dirt Road Tacos. Oh. Oh my God. That's heaven. That's heaven in a shell. It's gonna be a short video today. Uh, it doesn't take long to cook these. You can do these in your house for dinner. Uh, at your home, for dinner, for your kids, like lickety split. You can marinate the meat, do all that, chop everything up, get your finger in the night before. Do it the night before. Come home and take you all but five, six minutes to get this done for your family. And it's a meal that, uh, well, it's a meal we die for. Uh, that's all I can say. Now, I'll have an eye card up here about uh, uh, the marinade I made. I probably aren't, aren't. Probably I'm not going to do any spices on it. I hope that the marinade takes care of all it, but if it's not right, I'll put a little spice on it. Okay? Street tacos. Mexican street tacos. Carne asada street tacos. Uh, call it what you will. I like to call it Rico's Dirt Road Tacos. Because we're a little different. We're not We're not your typical uh, street taco, I don't think. Daisy's over. Daisy, what are you doing? She always buries these shoes. And I always see her with them. She buries them, digs them up, and for the next day. I don't understand that at all. Now, I am going to be cooking today. I think this is about... About a pound, maybe two pounds worth, but probably what it is. Um, about two pounds worth. Make sure your grill's hot. It's hot. Now this grill, buddy of mine built this grill, this flat top, and uh, there really isn't an adjustment on the burner. So I think we're going to change the burners out, put a few more knobs on it, so it cooks one, one temp hot. So it's either off, on, and then you also, you can't, oh, maybe you can light it. Maybe that's what that hole is for. Could be. But we're going to throw a little oil, and I just got some canola oil. You can use whatever you have. Okay. Now I'm gonna tell you a little secret here in a minute. Now the, <laughs> now the marinade I did was uh, soy sauce, uh, cumin, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, um, This doesn't take very long to cook. The secret is, throw some lard in with it. When that lard is melted, they're done. This is about done. Like I say, when that lard melts, it's done. All right, these are done. Like I said, it didn't take very long to do this. The thing I like about this warmer is, Madera put a, the warming plates in there. So I can put them in here. You can fill these up with the meat. You can put the rice and beans in it if you want. Now we gotta do some taco shells. Now you can, you can go ahead and do like a, my mom did and make the little crunchy, uh, oily, they're kind of, they're, they hold their shape, but when you bite them, you taste the oil and the lard, and oh my God, they're to die for. Around here, they uh, in this little migrant town I live in, they call them white man tacos, and they know exactly, oops, they know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, you can do that, or you can put them in a flour tortilla, I don't care. You can put them on nachos, you, you, this, this type of meat, you can do a lot with. I don't remember the cut of meat, I'm gonna have to ask the uh, little butcher that I get it. I really don't know what it is. Do your tortillas. A lot of times what they're doing, I'm not doing it today, one of these might have oil in them and you're gonna go ahead and dip them in the oil, put them on the grill. I'm not gonna do that because it's just me today and you guys and, and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not dirty it too much, but I'd take some peanut oil or Wesson oil or whatever you use. This is 
I would put them on there. I would kind of not let them get crispy critters. All right, then I just stack them up and now street tacos. The other secret on street tacos. I don't care how big your tortilla is, how thick it is, I don't care. Street tacos have two tacos. Two of them. Two. 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 Um, that's what makes it, that's one of the fun things about it that makes it a street taco. That one's kind of crunchy. You could take another one of these warmers and you can have it filled with tortillas. So you could do tortillas, meat, rice and beans. I think you need I think you need more. I think you need six of them on this side and then maybe a cool section or maybe a cool I don't know. Something so it could be at a pretty soon. Dude, pretty soon guys. I'll be quitting my job. Rico's gonna quit his job. He's gonna set the little we're gonna call it a flan job, but I know that's not right. We're gonna hook the little flan thing up on the corner. We're going to sell tacos on the corner by day. Across the street, maybe I'll find the, the neighbor girl. She can sell flowers out of the five-gallon bucket. We will make, we'll make a I see those guys doing it all the time. They got to be making money. Why would they be there? I think I was going to just... Ugh. I was just going to throw the tacos on there, but... There's a lot of oil in there. So we're just gonna put them on the old good china here. With that there, we're gonna shut this thing. Now, I guess I better do a video on the proper way to clean a flat top because a lot of us get these and we don't really know how to do it. Uh, one of the things I do, what the hell the oil go? One of the things I do, is I'll throw a little oil on it just because I can kind of swish that around and just kind of pull everything off uh, this has a grip hole but I don't have the little uh, pot for it so it's dripping all over the, the capsule light right here. It's dripping all over the concrete. I'll have to fix it before Tuesday afternoon when we're going to cook these for some people. And then I just kind of go whoop, whoop. Okay. I'm going to turn this thing off. Shut our propane down. Let's take these inside. I'll make them. We'll put a little garnish on them or a little topping, topping, topping. So we do the toppings. And we will, uh, suck the biscuit eater. Whoa, mother may I? That's kind of freaking hot. Um, I should, I just didn't go to the store to get it. I should put a little bit of that. Mexican blend cheese on it, maybe some shredded cabbage, some diced tomatoes. Um, we could make some really good, uh, that would be your true, your true Rico's Dirt, Dirt, Dirt Road, Dirt Road uh, taco. All right, let's make these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in, I made the meat, it has jalapeno peppers and uh, serrano peppers cooked in with it. If you don't like those, don't put them on your tortilla. It adds to the flavor. So we're just gonna load these up. But that's what that lard does for you. That lard gives you what you want. Then you're gonna take, then you're gonna take some uh, cilantro. And I don't like cilantro, but you gotta have a little bit of it. It's just part of the, uh, the cook. I love the white onions, so I put a lot of white onions. Then you uh, normally lime, I prefer lime, but I have lemons, so squeeze the lemon on it. And 
then you can kind of give it a little full. These are a little more crispier than I like. Have a little, uh, a little tasty, tasty here. Woo! Can you guys see this? You can just see the lard and grease dripping off these tacos. These are awesome. Carne asada, street taco. No, 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 no. They're not street tacos, buddy. These are the original Rico's Dirt Road Tacos. Pretty good. Pretty good. That's all. I'm going to take these into the other room and enjoy them. Sit down, watch a little news, maybe the NASCAR race if it's on. That's it, man. That's all I got. Rico's uh, Dirt Road Tacos. As always, guys, this is Rico, the tie-dye cowboy, wishing you and your family well. Keep on... Uh, How's it go? Keep on cooking and grilling. Oh! Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking. Salud, my friends.